Hello Twistificates, my name is Damien aka Team Twist and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Moo Moo Dimension. The Moo Moo Dimension is part of the Ars Magica 2 mod. Now it is an easter egg in the Ars Magica 2 mod and it's a dimension mod so I, well it's a dimension and I think it's well worth spotlighting on its own. But in this video I just want to mention that I will not be showing you guys anything or anything too in depth about the Ars Magica 2 mod. I'll just be showing you guys how to craft a portal and how to get back from the dimension once you've arrived inside your dimension so the first thing you need to do is to craft the nexus now the nexus is a structure that allows you to gather an energy source called essence this essence can then be used to power many different machines in this mod but for now we'll just be using it to power our keystone receptacle now our keystone receptacle is part of our portal which allows us to teleport to different dimensions as well as different places on the map so um once you have um a proper idea of what the nexus is let's go ahead and build it now there's several different ways to actually build a nexus those corresponding to how much energy you want when you want energy either it being in the daytime or at night or between daytime and night as well as how powerful you want that energy to be or whether you want the energy to be light or dark energy now um i'll be linking a wiki page below just to uh you know include all of the different nexuses available for you guys to use but for now we're going to be building the basic nexus which is made out of stone bricks and chiseled stone bricks so let's change it back to daytime to make sure it doesn't get dark and let's start building our nexus now to build our nexus you just need to place a stone brick in um your particular area count to three one two three and place another one down and just do that for each side until you make it perfect square so let's do it again one two three place one there and last but not least you just place one here and then you build it up by uh one there we go and then you will place the chisel stone right on top of that so let's just do that there we go and uh there we go so uh the last thing you need is called the blue chalk the blue chalk can be crafted by um uh, using some lapis vintium dust paper flint and some clay in that particular crafting uh, area on your um, crafting grid so once you have done that you just need to right click using your blue chalk which can only be used once at the center of your nexus or at the center of your pillars now once you've done this correctly you'll see that our a chalk basically turns blue and starts spinning. Now, if you've done the chalk in the wrong uh, area, it will still spawn down, but it will not rotate and will not change colors. So that's just something to keep in mind. So here we have a working nexus. Now, this nexus doesn't really gather a lot of energy. So in order to speed this up, you need to dig down below your nexus if you have a weak nexus like I do here, and then um, basically make a tunnel going beneath our nexus. Now. To increase the amount of energy, we need something called liquid essence, which can be found in the overworld in various different locations. Now, one thing I do want to mention about liquid essence is that it cannot be uh, in an infinite supply. So, say for instance, uh, well, many of you have created something called an infinite water source. And basically what that means is that you basically place water here on each end and it basically creates a water source at the center. But as you can see, I did that with my liquid essence and it did not create an infinite water source as it would normally do. So that means you cannot cheat and create an infinite supply of liquid essence. You can only use this one time. So if you place this here into our hole and let it flow down beneath our nexus, it will then suck out the essence that's available or the energy that's available in our liquid essence into our nexus, which will then in turn speed up the process of gathering next or excuse me, gathering essence into that. So uh, normally if you would stay uh, or let this uh, stay, uh, you know, functioning for quite a while, you would not get a lot of essence. So I usually just play some liquid essence that I find in the overworld, which um, I do want to mention is not really easy to find and definitely something you don't want to waste on just, you know, placing it in into energy or converting into our nexus. But it does help you power various different things and does speed up the process quite a bit if you do have a crappy nexus, to be honest. So once you've created that, let's create our portal. Now for our portal, you will need to uh, get some of the same materials we had before, except we'll need some stone stairs. So let's go on to our building blocks and get some stone stairs. Uh, now, one thing I do want to mention that I probably didn't mention a second ago is that using the mag using something called the Magitek staff, you can check how much essence is in any particular structure. So if you right click on this, it will say detected essence and it says 1000, one, uh, excuse me, 1720 and it just says 0% because that's how much it could, that's how much is stored in it correctly. So it could store a lot more than that, being, meaning that's less than 1%. So, um, yeah, once you have that, let's, um, build our portal. So to build our portal, just knock off two blocks here. 
knock off two blocks in the center, leaving a center block, place your stone uh, bricks there, and then place some chisel stone at the center. Now, what you want to do now is to build up three. So let's just build up three using our stone bricks. And then at the top, just create uh, this little area here and uh, something like that. So just put like three blocks over here without any ends and then knock off the center block. Now the center block here is where you'll place our keystone receptacle facing to wherever you're facing, either it's on this side or it's on that side. It's just not facing down and not facing up. And um, once you have that, you'll need to place your stone stairs, stone brick stairs like that inside. And that's basically that. So that's our portal and that's how to create it. So um, it seems to be that our portal is 10 blocks or 10 blocks away. Yeah, it's more than 10 blocks away from our nexus, meaning that it will not gather energy. So if you right click on this, it should not have energy in it. Okay, so one thing I do want to mention is that you want to build your portal as close as your nexus as possible. But if you cannot do that, you'll need to set up some type of system like I have here. I'll be doing this very quickly because I don't want to waste too much time on that. So let's just go and get some of our building blocks needed to build um, our little extension of energy. So this is what you'll need. You'll need something called a manor battery, which can be crafted by um, this crafting recipe here. We'll need some Vintium dust. You need to place RK and Ash at the center or RK and Ash at the center with some crime, crime, crime right in the corners and you will create our mana battery. This basically stores energy from our nexus. So if you place it down right here and um, just you know, link it up using a wrench. So if you go back here, we could use something called the crystal wrench, which can be crafted by uh, using uh, various different flowers found in the overworld that have been added with the mod. Some iron ingots here with some Vintium dust at the center. Vintium dust can be found with or found within Vintium ore, which you can smelt in a furnace and can be found in the overworld. So once you have this um, crystal wrench, you want to right click onto our source of energy and then right click onto our block here and we'll then transfer all energy from here onto that so any energy that's being generated in the nexus will then be transported into our mana battery so what you then need to do is to place a lever next to our mana battery and then activate that so now our mana battery is activated and as you can see our energy is being transferred to our mana battery what you need to do is to craft something called the essence conduit and the crystal pillar now the essence conduit is basically um a structure or a machine that allows you to transfer energy from your mana battery to your appliance. Now the way to craft this is basically to use this crafting recipe which includes crimeite at the top with some stone at the bottom. Once you have that you'll need to craft something called a crystal pillar which can be crafted by using a diamond placing stone like this as well as an arcane ash in the right hand corner and you'll get your crystal pillar. Once you have crafted these items, you'll need to place your essence conduit at least 10 blocks away from your source as well as your structure you want to power. So say for instance, my portal was all the way here, I'll need to place at least another essence conduit in order to get the energy from here to here, meaning that it's more than 10 blocks. So that's just something you need to keep in mind in order for everything to work. So, okay, you need to link this to that. So. There we go, so we linked our mana battery to our essence conduit, and then we linked this conduit to the keystone apparatus, which is located onto our portal. And as you can see, it's overheating. Now, this is why we need something called a crystal pillar to filter out the deficit, which is allowing or uh, causing our conduit to overheat. So we just shift and right click onto the side of that, and it's placed down our uh, crystal pillar, and we'll then drain out the deficit. And if you right click with the uh, mag magic attack or Magitech staff, you'll see that the deficit is back to zero and the essence is zero because it just, you know, acts as a transfer. It doesn't really store anything to our um, portal. Okay, guys, so we have our portal completed. Now, I did mention that the Mumu dimension is an Easter egg, so you're probably wondering what does the normal portal do? The normal portal basically allows you to teleport to various different portals in your overworld with different applications. Those applications include keystones, which identify or allow you to identify different portals and allow only certain people to access certain portals. But for now, I'll just be showing you guys how to teleport from one portal to the next. So say for instance, you have two portals in your overworld, you just need to right click on the keystone app apparatus, excuse me, and then go into our blue portal, which will then take you to the corresponding portal in your overworld. Say for instance you have more than one, you will need to have a keystone which I'll not be getting into because this is just mainly about the dimensions. Okay, so to use our portal to get to the Mumu dimension, you'll need something called the evil looking book which can be found in various dungeons available in this mod. Once you've found the book, you need to right click on your keystone apparatus using the book. This will then make a red portal which will take you to the Mumu dimension. So let's just enter the portal and see where it takes us. So it, as you can see, it takes us this awesome looking dimension, we're very creepy looking dimension actually, with red grass, 
red grass blocks as well as those you know normal grass that's above the ground as well as some red water that we have here now one thing i do want to mention is that you have no way of getting back unless you construct your own nexus as well as portal yet again so you definitely want to come here with some resources or definitely some weapons in order to take on these mobs so guys as you can hear they say moo 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 like every second and i just find it very very funny and it's a very cool easter egg you know it's kind of um vicious looking but it's also quite funny and i definitely congratulate the mod creator for including this because it sounds like a just a person saying moo it's not even like a cow going moo so that's definitely something really really funny so guys this is definitely gonna drive you crazy if you come to this dimension and these guys are actually really really vicious they have 50 hearts of damage and do like four attack damage on you even if you're wearing the armor available in this mod and um yeah, that's basically it for that, guys. I do find it quite funny that the mod creator actually, uh, like, did, it, like, a voice recording, apparently, of some guy saying moo, and then put it into the sound system instead of actually getting an evil-sounding cow to go moo. Well, I'm not even sure if there's evil-sounding cows, but, you know, there's video or sound effects, excuse me. And, um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. If you want to leave this dimension, you will need to, like I said, uh, create your nexus yet again and create a portal. So you definitely need to bring something along to help you with that. Or some, you know, things to, um, definitely don't bring something I don't want to get lost. Because these guys are just really vicious. So if I go on to my survival mode, there we go. These guys will just completely annihilate me. Look at this. These guys will definitely attack me, and wow, they're just completely um, knocking me out. So, I will just die and go back to my um, bed in the overworld. So, here I am. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Oh, this is from the last mod review. They're still fighting. They're still fighting. It's been like two years. Holy smokes. Anyways, guys, if you want to see those two guys fight it out, uh, be sure to go watch my... Um, mod special excuse me it's called the magical mobs i believe i'll be calling it so if you guys want to check that out uh go in the description below anyways guys this was another minecraft mod review with team twist and i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm taking one second to drop a like or a comment remember to share with your friends on facebook and twitter but for now guys this is team twist and i'll see you later